I sit back sometimes and just watch how stuff just pours into this place. People come out of no way and they come every day of the week. Catholic Charity, they, they are givers. They're constantly giving. It's amazing. Good evening. I'm Stephen Caratini. In January, I began my term as President and CEO of Catholic Charities of the Diocese of Arlington, succeeding Art Bennett, who retired after 10 years of dedicated service. I'm so happy to be with you tonight, if only by way of this video. You who are our friends and supporters of Catholic Charities can take great pride that throughout this last year, and despite the pandemic that has ravaged our communities, we have never stopped serving. Now, I'd like to introduce your guide for tonight's video, Father Robert Selinski, pastor of the Church of the Nativity in Burke and our Diocesan Episcopal Vicar for Charitable Works. Thank you, Stephen, and welcome to the Diocese of Arlington. One of the most special evenings in the Diocese of Arlington each year is the Catholic Charities Ball. We all gather together at the Ritz-Carlton, dressed up in beautiful gowns and suits and tucks, celebrating the dignity and beauty of the sons and daughters of God. A lot of fun, and we raise a lot of money for the work of Catholic Charities. This year is different. Because of the pandemic, we cannot gather together for the Charities Ball, so we are gathering virtually, not at Tyson's Corner, but at corners of our diocese where Catholic Charities is present every day uplifting the dignity and beauty of the daughters and sons of God who are poor and needy. On this virtual tour, they are the invited guests. What we will experience on this virtual tour is the grace of God and God's love for us. As a Catholic faith community, having just celebrated the Christmas season, we say that Christmas tells us that love always looks like something. It's incarnate. The Word became flesh. God who is love is an enfleshed presence and always looks like something. It is the embrace. It is the feeding of the hungry and giving a cup of water to the thirsty. It is caring for the sick and welcoming the stranger. And it is a tiny baby born in a humble stable to poor parents in Bethlehem. Let's see what love looks like through the ministries of Catholic Charities. One of the great needs in our diocese is for food. There are thousands of families that are food insecure, that struggle every day to provide that nourishment for their families and their children. We've definitely seen an increase in the requests coming into our programs as a result of COVID-19. The pandemic has really created havoc. Many of our families are unable to work or have had reduced hours, which has led to a loss of wages. In our food program, we've had more than 150% increase in the number of people seeking food assistance. Catholic Charities tries to respond to this need, first at Christ House, that provides an evening meal for the homeless and a food pantry. The pantry opens its doors twice weekly. They help with food, they help with toiletries. They give you fresh produce and they give you fresh meat and a lot of canned goods. And they even tell you how to make it healthy. If it's Thanksgiving, they give you a turkey or ham. If you disable, the people help you take it to the car. The evening meal for homeless men, women, and children has been served out of Christ House every night, 365 days per year since 1974. They are life saver. 24 hours, day and night, rain or shine, they are all, always open. I think the thing that people are most grateful for is that we continue to provide all of our services, even though we can't do it inside of the building that we've made the adjustments to care for the clients, bring the food out the door to them instead of having them come in to get it. And the fact that we do that, and they know that we're caring about them and we're going that extra mile to do that, they're very appreciative of. The St. Lucie Food Project was founded in the basement of Christ House in 2007. It evolved in its early days to distribute 40,000 pounds of food to cities and rural areas in the diocese through Christ House on Wheels. 
This past year, Catholic Charities distributed 1.3 million pounds of food to 55,000 individuals. People come out of no way and they come every day of the week, Monday through Sunday, and just give. They come and they volunteer their time. Catholic Charities has been wonderful in giving us an outlet to be able to come and help people. We just jumped right in and our kids just took to it right away. It was just a good opportunity. It was something God obviously wanted us to be involved in because the doors just opened immediately and we ended up here helping and love it. So love is feeding the hungry. That's what love looks like. An amazing story is the Mother of Mercy Free Health Clinic in Manassas. It opened its doors in 2017 in an office building that had once housed an abortion center. Generous donors from the Blessed Virgin Mary Foundation provided the space. Men and women and children for 20 years had gathered outside the abortion clinic for peaceful, prayerful witness and hoping that it would close. And then it did close. So now the Mother of Mercy Free Medical Clinic provides for adult men and women who are uninsured or underinsured free high quality health care based on Catholic principles of the dignity of every human person. A second Mother of Mercy Free Medical Clinic in Woodbridge officially opened in November. Let's say you're very poor, you're desperate, you're sick as can be, you have no insurance and you don't know where to go. But somebody tells you, well, you know, that Mother Mercy Clinic, you ought to try it. So you come in and they do an inventory, not just of your medical condition, but also of other aspects of your life. What's your housing like? Who do you live with? Do you have other issues? These are people who are deeply committed, not only to Christ, but to the people so cherished by Him. I know that the work that the clinic does, they took all precautions, so to be able to be there and to be able to help and be able to see people that were going through COVID or going through all those things and us figuring out how to get them the care that they needed was just essential. This past year, the Mother of Mercy Health Clinic served 1,140 patients. We can easily see in the Mother of Mercy Clinic what love looks like. Family Services provides mental health counseling to individuals, couples, children, and families. Catholic Charities Family Services has been a huge support to the work I do here. I have so much confidence in their ability to work with me. So I really see some of these counselors as teammates in caring for these people's souls. The church says that grace perfects nature. I come at it from the angle of grace, they come at it from the angle of nature, and together we care for the whole person. Since the pandemic started, there's definitely been an uptick in anxiety, isolation, need for mental health services, and Catholic Charities has been on the front lines of that. They've really stepped up to that need very quickly. Counseling is really just about getting support. Everybody has things in their life that can be better. The model that we are taking, the Catholic approach to counseling, isn't the idea of a freedom from. It's a freedom for. When we talk about a freedom from, it's freedom from symptoms, freedom from depression, freedom from anxiety. Those are important things, but we don't want to stop there. We want a freedom for approach, a freedom for flourishing, a freedom for the ability to pursue what God calls us to individually in our lives. Family Services provided 11,000 hours of counseling to more than 1,000 people this past year. Both the Mother of Mercy clinics have a chapel with the Blessed Sacrament in it for the staff and for the clients who come there. And all of our counseling centers are places of faith. For those who seek it, we offer the gift of faith and tell them the reason for our hope. By the grace of God, lives are transformed and saved. Education and Workforce Development is a holistic education and workforce program that provides students education and links to comprehensive resources, including life skills, community connections, and community building, and other Catholic charity services that enables them to thrive and to care for their families. Our clients in education and workforce development come from all different walks of life. I mean, you have individuals who have professional backgrounds in their home countries, 
to people who have never had the opportunity for any kind of formal education and may even be illiterate in their home languages. So we offer all different levels of English as a second language, educational opportunities and skills training. We offer preparation for citizenship, so all of the studies that you would need to do in order to prepare to take the naturalization test. Our mission in workforce development is really to help the individuals that we're serving to meet their own goals. During the COVID-19 pandemic, classes were quickly moved to an online format. Some 200 volunteer instructors and tutors enable education and workforce development to serve 1,497 students last year. Before I cannot come here in person because I have three kids at home. When open, this is in Corona time, open online classes, I love it because everything I can do it with my kids at home. It's people being able to flourish and live out their best life, what they were designed to do, what God has intended for them to do. It's a beautiful thing to watch. Welcoming the stranger and helping them acquire the skills needed for a successful future is what love looks like. Affordable housing is a great need throughout the Diocese of Arlington. Christ House offers transitional housing to homeless men. It affords a safe, clean, and welcoming environment to single men who are reclaiming their self-sufficiency and independence. No matter what we do in life, God is always there to forgive us. He's the one consistent thing in our life, and I've grown to depend on that. God has always placed me in those places where I could get him or see him. Definitely Christ House is one of those places. The St. Margaret of Cortona Family and Maternity Transitional Housing helps single mothers in exceptionally difficult circumstances. I was in the domestic violence shelter and I was in a work development office and all I can say was that God put me in the right place at the right time because the counselor I was talking to, she received an email just as I was in her office for like 10 or 15 minutes. And it was from St. Margaret's, you know, sending out their email that they were accepting people into their program. Every piece of the program is working together. And if you really utilize it and you really come in here with like a goal and you really, you know, focus on it, like you can change your life and it really is a blessing. Kayla was in a unique position because she came in just as we were starting our maternity housing program. We expect the moms to work, it's case management, it's therapy, but they can stay here throughout the course of their pregnancy. Um, and then at that point, they can either choose to leave or they can apply for the transitional housing program. So they have the opportunity to apply for that program and stay here an additional two years. There's really some opportunity to make some huge changes in their lives. Some 100 families and over 250 children have made St. Margaret of Cortona their home over the past 10 years. 23 children currently live at St. Margaret's. Your efforts to us are just, you know, words can't express how far they go. And it goes beyond just, you know, the mother, it goes to the children. Your contributions and your, your assistance and you know the people that come here and make the grounds safe and the playgrounds and all that stuff, it really is just life-changing to the kids and it creates an environment where they're safe. Providing a safe and nurturing home for others is what love looks like at Catholic Charities. Thank you for your support and joining in this virtual tour of Catholic Charities throughout the corners of our diocese. Your giving support to Catholic Charities is much more than the check you write or the charge on your credit card. It is love. That gift is what love looks like. We are united with Christ and the church in serving the least among us. So this is what love looks like by the grace of God. Thank you for your generosity. Now Bishop Burbage will conclude our video with a message to all. My brothers and sisters in Christ, good evening. In any other year on this February night, we all would have gathered to celebrate the work of Catholic Charities at its festive annual ball. But unfortunately, the coronavirus pandemic has taken a devastating toll on the lives and livelihoods of many of our neighbors in our diocese and world. 
and it caused the cancellation of this year's ball. Tonight, by the grace of God, we have gathered in spirit to support and celebrate the critical work of Catholic Charities. I express my deep thanks to Father Bob Selinski for leading us on this inspiring tour. In the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus tells us that whenever we feed, give drink, or welcome a neighbor, whatever we do for the least of our brothers and sisters, we are doing for him. To the pastors in our diocese who partner with Catholic Charities, please know of my appreciation for your work and tremendous support. And to those of you among the 4,000 who support our efforts by volunteering your precious time, and those of you who support Catholic Charities by donating your financial resources, I express my deepest gratitude. If you have not yet made a gift, I invite you to join us through one of the options shown on this video or go to ccda.net. We know that, especially during the pandemic, more of our neighbors than ever need our help. Therefore, the mission of Catholic Charities is greater than ever as we join our gifts together. And as we do so, we can be at peace because we also know that this work is not our work. It is God's work. And by the grace of God, we will not fail. Now, I will lead us in a final prayer. O oh God, giver of all good things, Everything we have, we have because you willed it, and everything we have is yours. O God, fount of all holiness, you have called us to love one another as you have loved us, and you have shown us how we can love one another. We give you thanks and praise for the ministries of Catholic Charities, through which your servants give what they have according to your will and love one another. In fervent charity by feeding the hungry, healing the sick, housing the homeless, and welcoming the newcomer. By your grace, shower your abundant blessings upon those who tonight and throughout the year give generously of their time and treasures out of love for you and for their neighbor. May all gathered here before you be instruments of your tender and bountiful love in every corner of our diocese by serving the least of our brothers and sisters through Catholic Charities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever.